What's up everyone, Audrey Drake here and we're going to take a look at the brand new trailer for the next generation of Pokemon games, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Woo! Yeah, and with me, as you can hear, is my wingman, the main man behind the Daily Fix, Jonathan Rigg. That's right, I'm here just to help out and kind of, you know, just in the background. She's really the professional here, but I am a big Pokemon fan, big Nintendo fan, so I'm excited for this. I'm the Poke Master, if you will, but let's get started. As you can see, First thing we're greeted with is everyone's favorite little yellow mouse of electricity, Pikachu. Indeed. Now, no confirmation on whether this is actually Ash's Pikachu, but as we can see here, Apocalypse 2013, we were <laughs> a little bit too early. Yeah, I think, I think we'll end up surviving that one. It is a pretty powerful electric attack, though. Now, what we have here... Boom. Bingo, boom. First glimpse of the trainer, the male trainer. And three-dimensional graphics. Yeah, this is the first Pokemon, the first core Pokemon game to have fully 3D graphics. And not gonna lie, it looks pretty slick. Yeah, no sprites in sight. Big sprite fan, love old school graphics, but it's really nice to see them pushing yeah, forward. Yeah, and the game is for the 3DS, it's the first one, so it should be pretty interesting to see what they do with Street yeah. Pass, Spot Pass, and all of that. Yeah, you can see he's kind of got on like sunglasses and stuff. Now, that leads me to believe maybe we'll be able to customize uh, our characters here, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, no direct confirmation of that in the trailer or anything like that. But uh, I just, I, I see those and I think, man, that looks like I could swap that out. Yeah, and there you can see his little bag where he's going to keep his Pokedex and Pokeballs and all manner of Pokemon merchandise. Now, right here, we see Route 3, which is probably mm -hmm. early on in the game. And again, another glimpse of the beautiful 3D graphics. You can see the people sort of standing off in the distance waiting to challenge him. You can see a town and probably the Pokemon Center yeah. off to the left. And so, so definitely we're not you know, moving away from the core mechanics of Pokemon. This mm -hmm. is still very much Pokemon. We see grass to run through in order for, you know, uh, little creatures to run out at you. Just like always, it's not going to be any different. You're still going to walk up and they're probably going to go, bing, a little uh, exclamation right point's going to pop over their head mm -hmm. and they're going to go right after you. Yeah, it's you know? a fresh coat of paint, a brand new visual presentation, but it's still, if based on what we've seen, it looks like it's still going to be the same core gameplay we all know and love. And here, we have Tarzan in Pokemon <laughs> confirmed. But yeah, look, he's swinging through the forest. So yeah. From, uh, so you can see the little footprints, which are the points where he can mm -hmm. swing from. This is definitely something we've never done in Pokemon before, so we can tell this is going to be not only in three dimensions, but it's going to have more action than ever before, which is really exciting for me. Yeah, and he's also, you can tell that he's sort of on a lair there, like he's climbing up and around this sort of tree fort thing, mm -hmm. so it looks like we're going to have some pretty dynamic locations in this game. And next up we see, boom, the female trainer this time around, mm -hmm. most likely. Um, yeah, not really much to say here, other yeah. than cute design. And look at the uh, pretty, pretty flower she's running through. <laughs> Another first for the series. A lot more detail here. The trees, the sparkling water. It's just... Definitely. This is more detail than we've yeah. ever seen in a core Pokemon yeah. game. Flowers are no longer just four little square pixels <laughs> kind of bouncing at two frames per second. So, mm -hmm. nice to see. Ro ooh, ooh. Oh, let's, yeah, let's yeah. yeah. Let's go back. back to that. We've got roller skating. Which, roller skating uh, past the Eiffel Tower? Yes, there is the Eiffel Tower in Pokemon now. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. Pokemon is on Earth. Here it is. This is Paris. Okay, anyway, so we have uh, roller skating, it looks like, of some kind. Yeah, this will likely replace the bike. We don't know that for sure. The bike still might make an appearance, but we know we have walking. We know we have running from the last shot mm -hmm. we saw, and now it looks like he's for sure rollerblading. Yeah, any, any uh, Mega Man Battle Network fans in the house are, are thinking, oh my god, they ripped that from Battle Network. <laughs> uh, but that's probably like four people. One of them is me. Yeah, and if we go, and me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and if we go forward, boom, we'll see the girl trainer running from a giant Pokemon mansion. Oh, yes. Probably not the same from the first yeah, game. If you take it back a second, you can see like little Dratini gargoyles there. You know, that is detail you just couldn't have before. Uh, there's yeah, also like you see that big statue. Um, it's hard to see what's there. It looks like maybe a Palpitoad, uh, maybe a Golurk, maybe a Ponyard. Hard to say, mm -hmm. but yeah, more glorious Pokemon on show. Totally. Here's a desert area. Um, obviously, we don't know what that is in the distance. Probably something you're gonna go explore, maybe yeah. find a legendary Pokemon or two. It's <laughs> neat to see that they're doing something different with the art style this time around. Because like that kind of dome structure is something you might have seen in the cartoon, but in the games they could never fit in something that descriptive. But you know, it's just really cool to see that. Oh yeah. And behold, the three new starters. Right. Boom. 
first we have Chespin, which is the grass type, and he's a little... How, how would you classify him? He has a hat. He has a hat, he does. A little grass hat, and he's like a chipmunk dude. Got yeah. Got kind of like mole feet. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll we don't honest, know what this guy I'll is. I'll be honest, I'm a little apprehensive about a little chest spin here, but you know what? I didn't like Oshawa when I first saw him, and now he's one of my all-time favorites, so I'm going to keep an open mind about this one. Indeed. Yeah, but as you can see, he's the grass starter. And uh, here, actually. Yeah, that's really important. We move, Let's take that back. Yeah, before we move on to the other starters. Oh my starters, god, what is that? We see actual attacks actually hitting Pokemon and them actually suffering pain as though they would in real life. Yeah, not only that, but look at the dynamic camera angles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, battles are not just going to be two Pokemon that. just standing there not doing anything anymore. It's finally, you know, they're going to actually fight each other. And Exciting look, stuff. People. And look, you see the camera, it's not just stuck behind the trainer's Pokemon. It's moving all around. It's zooming in on him. It's going all around. It's going to be customized for the attack, it looks like. And mm -hmm. like you said, the attacks are more detailed and realistic than ever. Definitely. Up next is the fire starter. A fire fox, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this little guy is called Finnekin. And he's going to give Vulpix a run for his money, it looks like. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It is going after Curly and Munchlax. Uh -huh. And finally, our last starter, Water. This shows that uh, it's... Definitely my choice. <laughs> Froakie. He's a little water frog. Uh, so yeah, it looks like I'm going to keep the grass fire water tradition going with this one. Definitely. Uh, isn't this that the, guy. actually the Aww. second frog Pokemon that we have? A water frog wasn't... Swampert, couldn't you say he's a water frog? You could, you could. You could technically say Poliwag, too. Yeah, he's so we've, we've had a lot of water frogs already, so they're clearly saying, they're you know, we're not... Out of yeah, yeah, exactly. They're admitting to that a little here. I mean, come on, guys. They've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get another look of more dynamic camera angles. Oh, wow. Yeah, here we have a... Uh, kind of Zelda-style forest or something? Yeah, two of the trainers running through a forest. You can see the sun coming through the leaves, and it's really pretty here. One interesting thing is you see this uh, female person following the main trainer. We don't know if that's uh, one of the customized characters, and they're playing co-op mm -hmm. yeah, with someone. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're running right behind them. Yeah, they're running right behind them, so maybe they're playing co-op, or maybe it's one of those parts where you team up with someone to mm -hmm. go through a forest or cave. We don't know, but it is interesting in it. Definitely. And if, like you were saying earlier, if that is the trainer, then it looks like you can customize uh, their outfits, because she's got little sandals on. Yep. And we all know that guy, but interesting to note, as you can see, uh, it looks like this won't just be like black and white, just limited to the new Pokemon. This mm -hmm. is going to have Pokemon from all generations. Yes, definitely. And was and that what Professor? Is, this? is that the. Oh, maybe not. This not could, the Professor? It might could be the be. Professor, it might be just a character, but more interestingly, what's going on with this magical room? Watch it go. I don't know if that has something to do with the dream world. Watch it one more time. But you can see they're like in outer space with these little. Uh, I don't like even know gym, what that is. Actually, with those little statues there on either side. I don't do enough drugs to understand this. <laughs> so this might be a gym, um, psychic gym or something. We don't know, but it's this room stuck in the middle of the universe, and then it comes together. Uh, mm -hmm. That guy might be the guy who gives you water at the start of a gym mm -hmm. battle. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But it's kind of cool. Okay. More battle. Uh, this could be just an area you're going through. It could be another gym, but all we know yeah, I'm is thinking definite that, gym here. Looks yeah, like some kind of electric web you just landed in. I mean, you definitely can, going psychedelic here in this latest Pokemon and entry. And he's here, jumping folks. on it. You can see sort of a treehouse or something in the background. You can see logs strewn together, or some grass with water on it. Don't know what this is, but it's kind of cool. It's pretty fun. Oh, and we already mentioned the trainer earlier, but just take a moment here to appreciate how how humanoid he is with the long <laughs> legs and arms. That's a first for the series. <laughs> Got some right, more, more battles. Battle They're clearly showing off. That's and a big thing for this. holy goodness, if this is a gym, this might be the most epic gym yet. But it's I like don't. like Bowser's gym or something. Yeah, this could know. just be Elite Four, or just something cool. But this is. Really epic. Yeah, they're taking whatever's it a going lot further here. than they've ever gone yeah, before. Yeah, Pokemon in the Black and White 2 already took some big steps in that direction, but this is only taking it further. Definitely it bringing like. the epic. And boom, this is no longer gameplay footage right here, but we have a glimpse at our mascot legendaries for the game. Yes, X and Y. X and Y. Now Not we exclusive saw... to boys and girls. No, no, anyone can get any. Uh, but. As you can see there, that is going to be likely the mascot Pokemon for Y. If you take a look at the logo, 
Um, it looks exactly like that, the yeah. tip, the wings, and everything. It's pretty, so, pretty clear. I don't know if he's going to be called Y, but that's what he is. <laughs> I'm going to catch him. That's, his, that's all I know. Yeah. And that guy, he looks like a Y, too, but if he spread his legs, he'd be an X. And uh, his yeah, antlers he, look exactly like in the X logo. Definitely. So, those are the Not new legendaries. Not really much to say, but very cool looking. Yeah. Yep, see, you can see the logos here to compare to the legendaries. Bingo, bingo. The antlers, the wings. And that is everything we uh, picked out of the new Pokemon X and Y trailer. It's Maybe everything stuff. you picked out of it. Oh, okay. I've got my whole own like cache of, okay. of stuff. Okay, you already I'm know all the team members for the gym leaders. Members. All right, it's well, be nuts. keep an eye on your Twitter in the coming days. But anyway, we should have more official information coming out in the next few weeks and months. And as always, for all things Pokemon, keep it here on IGN. Later, dudes. See ya.